Let us continue playing Shining Force 2. When we last left off, we actually had no idea where we were going, and I didn't look it up in the meantime, so I still have no idea where we're going. Um, so... This video could be a lot of rambling nonsense and me exploring. In the meantime... Randomly nonsense and me exploring. Hopefully a battle will start up at some stage and tell me what to do. Maybe. Who knows. At the moment, we're just gonna follow the coastline and... Wish we had remembered to pick up the raft. Possibly. We'll see. It's a shrine that is somewhere, so, you know, it's got it's got to be somewhere. Alright, I might just have to nab the raft and see what we do here. If it, if it absolutely takes... If, it, if it's a few minutes and I haven't worked it out, I'm just going to have to look it up, but I'd prefer not to. Yeah! Yeah, I don't think it is, but maybe it is. No, this is it. It's my job. Rochambo. Apparently, whatever he played beat the door. This is the ancient hall that leads to the ancient tunnel that leads to the ancient pathway, which leads to the ancient road. Which leads to new road. But nobody talks about that one. There are monsters here. Shin, take him out! Do my bidding! I should probably have gone back and, you know, used... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna eager us this one. Thank you! And let's go and raise people from the dead. Yes, we definitely need our heat cleric if nothing else. Was that 15,000 gold run out to? Cousin's back. And Slade. Halfway, halfway. Though to be fair, it's the more difficult half he's got to do now. And Gerald, who's level 17. Hopefully we might be seeing some promotions in the next two or three two or three battles, depending. You know what I said not many people died last battle, I was actually completely wrong. We lost so many people. Half the shining force really, but that's 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 it's nothing important. Nobody important died, we think. Right, so... Just gotta now work out where I was. It was there. There we go. Battle! Right, so let's have a quick look around before we do anything else. Is there things of notes? There are gargoyles, I think. There are also chests. There's at least two that I've spotted there. Okay, well this doesn't seem too challenging actually. This one, I don't think any of them... Well, actually there might be some flying things. We'll move shit up first. We'll then move you. Yeah, I think you might fly. Arrow launcher? Doesn't sound very fun. Alright, cars and these to there. Yeah, I'm not liking the arrow launchers. Alright, loops are there. In comes the first gargoyle. It hits me for 13, which is not a low amount of damage at this stage of the game. Still, we battle on. At least I battle on. They apparently don't do a lot other than just, you know, consider things. Uh, Peter moves. Actually, I don't want to move Peter within range of the arrow catch if I can. So we move Peter onto there. Oh, then moves forward. Go on, attack Jahar. Punch! Oh, double punch. Don't, I'm not liking them getting all their double attacks going off here. Alright, May can go and attack the Golem, though I don't imagine she's going to do too much damage to it. Oh, 10. Okay, I stand corrected. She's more effective than I thought she would be. Maybe I'm still somewhat thinking of, um... Of what is it? The, the first Shining Force game with regards to that. Alright, Shin versus Gargoyle. 
I think we got some problems coming up here. Meantime, though, 16 damage to the gargoyle and a lot of experience earned, actually. They might not be that tough. They're not, which is useful. They just got, they're just, they're glass cannons, seemingly, which is fine. We need we need to start getting some major experience points with cars in, so let's hit kill, that'll only be 49. Level 16! Right, Chester goes and attacks the other the golem, hopefully for another kill. Yes, there we go. Being aware of the flying things that could come in and hurt in a bit. Right, who needs some healing? Shin needs a little bit, so we'll go with that. Earn some points. Meanwhile, I'm going to have Peter attack the arrow launcher at this stage. 16 and 24. Peter can earn some experience off of those. Uh, Jahar's wounded. That's who I should have healed. But I didn't. Golem punches Slade to death. Whoops. Oh, not quite to death. But darn it, it's a close thing. Dragon attack! 6 damage on the golem, 12 points. Slade might as well attack it as well, though I'm imagining counter attack and kill here. Critical for 2, 4 points. Alright, me. Kill off the golem, please. That's level 15. Okay, our arch is improving. We're getting our ranged people up. Uh, meanwhile, I think moving Shin forward is probably a good idea here. Girls as well. <sighs> I don't think you can do enough damage to outright kill it. There might be a bit of a risk putting you there, to be honest. Oh well, let's go for it anyway. He's got most of his hit points intact, hopefully he'll be able to survive it. Best to try and earn something. And it goes for Phoenix. Shoots the arrow. Okay, they're high level, but they're not all that powerful. And it's on one hit point, so that slays, I think now. Slade calls dibs. Meanwhile, I've got the bait doing things with Peter now. He's going off a bit by himself here. I might get Peter killed if I'm not careful. Well, it's a problem, but, you know, we do like to get people killed. Luke's, that's going to hurt. Right, so let's go and heal Jahar next. Da -da -da. And then move Jahar this way. Right, go and get healed. This is fine. It means the White Monk is not casting magic on me and causing me pain. I'm doing what I did just there. And that punch would have happened anyway. Gargoyle moves closer. So the gargoyle is now in attack range on that side of things. Luke's nearly dead. Do I want to give May the kill? I actually don't. I might regret that, but I don't at this stage want to give May the kill. 
do want to do is I want to be dragging this way around because there's probably going to be people I can try and kill. And darn it, I'm, a pos I'm one out. And because of the uh, way the arrow trap is, I can't really afford to just stick there. All right. Fourteen. Count of five. And I'm being summoned. Two minutes. Right, continuing on then. Um, Carson's actually a worthy person to go and finish off the arrow launcher and get some experience because he needs it. The mage should be one of the higher level characters here and he's fallen a little behind. We'll pick that back up in no time of course, but still. That's a potential problem. I need to move um, you out of there actually. Back out you go. Alright, meanwhile, Chester, go and kill a monk. 13 and 17. Peter could now go and attack the Gargoyle, which might actually be an okay idea at this stage. Critical for 25, he's <laughs> level 19, he's there basically. The Birdman will be the first to go up in, in rank, I think. Master Mage hits him with a stick and does two. Stick to your magic, sir! This is just an easy uh, move here, just go and heal up Luke. 15 and... 13 points back. Darn it, they're going to go down and heal now. This is a this is a choke point that's not really going to help the... Um, it's not really going to help things out here that much. Especially the Gargoyle was free and has now attacked Dragon. Dragon should be able to stand up to this, but that's more damage than he would normally take from things. Monk heals himself. Colin punches Chester. And now we're going to go and start killing some mages. 28 for Jihar there. How much damage can Team actually do? I think he can do enough, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go like that. Nope, dodged. If it's a counterattack, he's in trouble. If there isn't, thankfully. Yeah, may take the kill on the Master Mage. They can be moved so that we can now actually hurt both, but I think I might be moving you back. Slade has no hit points, but there's nowhere safe I can really put him. The only reason I'm attacking the Gargoyle here is because he seems to take more damage than I would have expected. Yeah, maybe that wasn't worth it in the end. In the meantime, though, we do need to get him killed, so... 18 there, 24. And I go a full blaze on this one. We need him dead. That's 9, 49, level 17. Good work. Wolfman! Do some damage. Level 18 for you as well. And now we can have Chester go and hurt the Black Monk again so he heals himself. Crypt 20, 26, level 18 for Chester as well. The next battle is going to be quite entertaining, I feel, with, with, um, with getting people quite close to the point of um, promotions for anybody who isn't slayed, I guess. Peter attacks the Gargoyle for the kill. Darn it! Oh, darn it, that's Peter dead then. It was, it was, that, would have, that would have put him basically on the... Um, that would have been basically on level 20 if he got the kill there. But it was not to be. Level 
unless Peter dodges or gets lucky. He got lucky. And if he gets the first turn next time, we might have something. Yeah, we're going to heal Slade because that will get some terrible experience points. Because percentage of their total hit points, that's important. 20 experience points there. Alright, Jaha, kill. Need to help Peter out there. Wolf. Golem attacks the knight. Or knight centaur type thing. Right. May I think we'll take the kill on the black monk then. Which might get her a second level of this battle actually. Yep. 1111, 210 coins. Dragon can't get into a battle situation. That's a person who has magic up there, so I'm going to leave you back. Tempting though this is, I don't think this is a generally speaking a good idea. But it was tempting. 7-Eleven. Five... Jin now can't do a lot, so just stand. Actually, no, we'll move Shin around here. We'll, we'll start him moving towards the exit. You, though, can go and do this. And that will make the monk tempted to heal himself, which will help Slade out. 21 points for Karzin. Geralt goes and punches for the kill. And some experience points. Never know, I think we got Slade set up for another kill here. Which might push him to level 11, that means 9 away from actually getting him to the legendary good good character status that he possibly has when he promotes, according to everybody so far. Yeah, he heals himself though. Which is fine, if I can sort of have Dragon and... Um, Slade doing enough damage so that I can guarantee it'll keep going. I might just farm him for a bit. Oh god. I think we find too much damage over here. Right, Peter, do not miss. Thank you. Who's got hit points left? I think is the um, question I need to ask here. Nobody nearby, I don't think. Alright, oh, let me just work this out here. You need some heat. You are. You need healing. The other people on the other side of the board need healing more, but you're somebody we can help. Twelve earned. May shoots a golem for yet another kill this battle. Oh, not quite. Only seven. It's because she did ten the first time, so I think she can do slightly more than she actually can. Still. We've got Jahar for that purpose, and Jahar goes, boom, level 17, please, thank you very much. Alright, so there's not that many enemies left. Let's move Dragon in. Get my phone go beep, beep, beep. Or whatever it does. Critical hit for the Dragon, 11 damage, and 18 points. Level 15 for Dragon. Attack up by 2 is also a nice thing to see at this stage. Slade, can he get the kill? He can! Level 11 and two additional attack points! Alright, Jin has some hit points so he can fight over that side of things. Um, Karzin might as well keep up his high attack magics because we got the spare points. Crit for 10, 14 points. Not a great amount, but it'll do. Just about there, because that'll mean Sarah will be able to help out with the healing in a bit. Luke goes and attacks there. So down to five, there's another kill for Slade coming up then, I think. Or Slade or Dragon, whichever one goes next. Hit the bird man on the stick on the head with a stick, and not a lot happens. Done it out of range. But yeah, we're just gonna move um, yeah, Sarah's job now is just to heal Chester and um, Peter for some additional experience points. Jaha! 
main Shin should be able to deal with the last three of them by themselves. We think. Yeah, we give it to Dragon here because... Because Dragon. In Slade, we can actually still use an aggressive capacity at the moment because he's actually got the points of... He's got some hit points. You as well, actually, under that. Yeah, you go back and go for the... You go, you go back to the healer. Alright, Kazan can move forward. Okay, so everybody's now in range. And here comes the attacks. Jaha, round the back, attack. I'll put May in a bit of an opposition there. I should have blocked that off, but... May can do enough damage. She's fine for the moment. Takes it down to one. <laughs> 24, and that's going to give, I think, Shin the um, full the full reward of that. All right, so I've got five heals left with Sarah, so here's heal number one. So she's going to be able to get her at least 50 more points, and that's level 18 for her as well. Don't really want to be attacked by the arrow thing, but I think we're fine there. Dragon moves up. Shin gets the kill on the gargoyle, assuming he hits. And why did I say assuming he hits? I guaranteed I would miss. Yeah, you just need to move down to there. That'll keep um that keeps Slade trade from the arrow launcher. You need to there. And we'll heal Chester for now. 15 points, but it's not a lot of his percentage hit points, so 10 is the most we get there. Oh, it's action. But that's a dodge, counter attack. No second attack. Now, if we heal Peter, we could send him up, actually. That's something we can definitely try. Jihad, though. Oh dear. There's some problems coming up here. May. Thank you. 49, level 17. Well, May's now well and truly back in the fold. What can Slade do to an arrow launcher? Do five and earn seven. Dragon can do seven and earn ten. I think I might move you there, but there's a half chance I can actually use you still. Shin does not have a lot of hit points left. I can't afford to risk him, unfortunately. It's a bit cowardly, but that's how we're going to play it. More MP need... Oh, I need six for that. Oh, dear. All right, we'll just use our normal blaze then on the arrow cat. The arrow launcher. I'm going to arrow cat for some reason. It's doing completely the opposite. It's not catching the arrow. It's just firing it at them. If I can keep it pinned in place, they actually can't do any attacks. But, yeah, it's going to keep going for Carson. While he's there, Carson's out. Advance, Mimi's forward. Actually, I might go and grab the chess one here, to be honest. Another heal for Sarah, just to build up some more points. Charms up. Golem attacks Slade. And does actually kill him in one go 25. <laughs> okay. Slade was doing well, but. That, that's ended now. Dragon hits for seven. If he can crit for eight next turn, he can actually kill the thing, which would be useful. Geralt kills the golem. And now it's just a case of picking up the uh, various items that we got here. 
Which we can probably do off screen. We can do off screen, of course, but you know. Yeah, I do want to try and kill that now with um, Dragon if we can. Is there a chest item over here? Probably. Nothing else here on yourself. Ten ball points. Those ten points could be critical later. There. You can't make it there at the moment. Alright, though, apparently that space isn't accessible at this point. Dragon, go for it. One more attack needed. I want to open the chest! I don't know if there is one over here. That's just where the door is. Alright, have a lot of attached to her. And again, you'll just heal yourself for nothing because why not? Hold you in place because why not? You out of range. Right, now it can't attack us at all. Dragon's up for the kill. If we getting close to level 16, it's worth doing. Level 16 it is. And there we go! It was lucky to be a Dimetrio. Thank you! Follow me to the ancient tunnel! No, we want our rewards first. If we can... Why is the door closed? That's strange. Oh, well, let's go in. We try again. Petra, my grandson locked the door. Sorry, guys, we can't go to Grand's Island this way. Grumble. Well, I want to actually explore this temple area because there's, yeah, there were a couple of items we can do. So apparently that was a bit of a bust, but we found a wooden panel, which might do something. We might even look up what it does later. You never know. And we get a power water. Is that mana the mana point recovery if I remember rightly? I don't know. It might be. Pa it probably is. But I'm going to leave that once we know. So, next time, more Shining Force 2. Until then.